This video brought to you by Coffee. Thank you, Coffee member Kristen, for your support. Hello, I'm Grimia. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, I do whatever I feel like, mostly sim stuff. And today, you can see I'm wearing my folklore flannel. Not really, it's an orange flannel I bought at Target. And my friend was like, that looks like the flannel from the folklore cover. And so now it's my folklore flannel. I think it's folklore. It might be everyone. <laughs> In case you didn't know, I, I'm a Taylor Swift fan, although the previous conversation we just had might believe you to think otherwise, might lead you to think otherwise. But I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. Uh, my favorite album actually comes out again today, unless you're a coffee member, in which case it comes out in a few days. By the way, did you know I have a coffee and for as little as $1, you can get early access to all of my YouTube stuff? Just, just think about it. And while you're thinking about it, consider subscribing on YouTube because it's free and I usually don't shill myself out, but I can see the analytics and I know most of you viewers are not subscribers. So maybe consider doing that because it's free. But anyways, back to Taylor Swift. 1989 Taylor's version comes out today. So in honor of that, I thought I would do a Every Room is a Different Taylor Swift album, but only the album she 100% owns now, which today means there are eight albums. So I have a D8 and I have a handy dandy chart. Ba-da, ba-da. Those are the numbers one through eight, and we're going to build a house. Um, I'm going to, I mean, I'll speed build through the shell because that's probably going to take me the longest time, but we are going to roll for all the rooms right now, just so I don't have to do it later. And I need to find sticky. I got my sticky notes so I can write all this down. It is going to be a New England style, kind of like her holiday house, but a little less grand. So we're going to have a kitchen, a living room, a dining room, the bathrooms. I'm going to have multiple bathrooms, but they're all going to be themed after the same album. Three bedrooms and then a study slash music room, which could also be four bedrooms. So four bedrooms, technically. I got this tray also from Target the same day I got this lovely flannel. So first up, I'm going to I'm going to leave this up just until we're done. When we get down to six albums, I'll switch to a D6, and when we get down to four, so on and so forth, I'll, I'll switch dice. Let's roll for the living room. Can you... Okay, well, you can't really... It was a five, which is midnight. So our living room is going to be midnight st style. Themed. All right, dining. We're going to roll this again, and if I get a five again... Uh, we'll just re-roll. I can roll in front of you. Oh, I got a five again. Quit rolling fives! Six! <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. Speak now for dining room. Alright, so D6, I'm just gonna run right down the line one through six, excluding uh, Speak Now and Midnight. For the kitchen... One, two, three, four would be fearless. Okay. Five. Which would be for the bathrooms. All of the bathrooms are going to be this album. One, two, three. Skip, skip, skip. 1989. Okay. Cool. No, that's not a big deal. That's just my favorite bath my favorite bathroom. Sure, it's my favorite bathroom now. All right, the first bedroom, which is probably going to be a master bedroom attached to a bathroom. One. Lover. Oh, colorful. Bedroom number two. One again. Which I guess would just be red in this case. Even for the next bedroom, for folklore, odd, forevermore. It's an odd. You can see the one there. Which is Evermore, which means the study slash music room is folklore. Everything is written down on a sticky note. Let's get the shell of this built. And we need to have all of these rooms in there.
Okay. It didn't. You know what? Hang on. Let me. I'm looking how. So it only took me an hour. I'm very. I'm pleased with this. So we are here in Brindleton Bay. We are on the former lot of the Delgados. I kicked them out and I bulldozed their house and I moved Weird Al in because Weird Al. If you're new here, I play test with Weird Al. Although I guess in this case, I should really be play testing with Taylor Swift. Um, all right. So I added Taylor Swift to Weird Al's household for this. I mean, we are building her a home. It only makes sense that she's here while we're doing it. I guess we're not building her a home. We're building a home inspired by her music and her album art covers. But anyways, this is the Taylor Swift I used by Sims 4 Denise on the gallery. Uh, I don't have all the packs, so I'm just going to go through and make sure she's dressed. All right. Taylor Swift has been clothed. Um, I don't know what her skills look. Then I got sidetracked so hard. Anyway, this is... I just curious, what are your skills like? She doesn't have a job. She has quite the a semblance of skills. <laughs> this Taylor Swift. It's the ADHD kicking in. Okay. So far, Taylor, I don't know what you think about this or not. But we like I said, we are on the Delgado lot. We are in Brindleton Bay. Ah, uh, this is what we got. We have quite a bit of lot to work with in the back and in the front. I am going to keep this. I might pave it though. And I do want to put the house up on a foundation, but I want to landscape first and we'll bump the house up. But here it is. I do, I did put some placeholder furniture in here just so I know what's going on. Because 1989 Taylor's version is the one that dropped today and it's my favorite album. I'm going to be doing the hall and the balcony also in that same vein. Uh, because I can do whatever I want. This is my channel. <laughs> don't look over there. <laughs> don't don't look at that. Don't just, 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 just cover your eyes. I think we will run down the list, which is gonna bug me a little bit, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna start with midnights in the living room. Fine. You can see like right above me, over there a little bit. It's got like blue. And also, it has multiple, multiple different colored vinyls, which is very nice. Jewel tones, deep colors. Um, I might ch I'm gonna change the wall. What do we want to do for floors? Should the floors mat? No, the floors would have to be on brand as well. The vinyl colors were like an emerald green, a light blue, a lilac and an orange so we could do an orange remember when i said deep jewel tones that green's too minty living room couches colors we want we have the blue and the orange i want like a dark green we don't have any dark green sofas, which just seems ridiculous to me. Blue is like the most popular color in this game. There are a million blues. Like, look at, look at that. That's like the perfect shade of blue that I'm looking for too. This is such an odd shaped room. I do like the where I had the place of you know, furniture, so I am gonna do that again. But maybe I put the couch on this side so it does kind of close off this room and kind of split it a little. So we have like an entryway and then also a living. I don't know why I got rid of the TV. It was perfectly fine where it was. I mean, you have a fucking giant wall space. Um, We're going to give her a big TV. I feel like she would have a big TV. I don't... Yeah, obviously, to watch all of those Law & Order SVUs. I don't know if Taylor Swift is a fan of Law & Order SVU, but doesn't she have a cat named Olivia Benson? Like, named after Olivia Benson? I was watching uh, SVU with my mom and grandma and talking about how much she looked like her mother, um, um, Mariska Haggerty. Her mom was Jane's man, uh, Jane Mansfield. She died in a car accident. I keep rotating like it's going to make me change my mind. I like the way this is. I don't know about this sofa. I kind of want to flip it. 
What if we did like a big sectional instead? Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm yelling right in your ear. We could do a big sectional because it does have this nice blue. Well, let's move these couches. Let's get let's get move objects on. I'm not liking the light blue walls anymore. I think I want darker walls and then light if I'd use this light furniture. Back to the walls. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sorry. This is good. I like where, where we are going with this. A coffee table. Maybe just a white one. That's a little too big. I think your sims can reach everything in there. We'll test. Don't worry. We'll play test this with Taylor and Weird Al. No, this one is good. It's pure white. Dream Home Decorator has some really good furniture. So I... <laughs> I've bought I bought Dream Home Decor. Obviously, I'm using it. Um, I have yet to actually play in live mode with it. I just I've been building a lot, right? So I haven't been Dream Home decorating a lot. We do need space for her cats, so we should we could probably well we have extra bedroom. We have all those bedrooms upstairs. We can turn one of them like a a bedroom and also a cat room. Uh, but the cats, the cats should have, like, a cat tree in the living room. Where would be a good... Well, actually, I want... I want the cat to be able to look out the window. So that's a, uh, that's a good place for it. This one is just a different size! Oh, that's not cool. Uh, ig b bb dot, b bb dot, ignore. All right, so we got room for her Grammys. <laughs> rug. Actually, a rug would be great in here. And I want, like, a light purple. Yes. So what we can do with this... Oops. Is kind of, like, layer them. Because it just... Now it'll look like a big rug. All right. Okay. I'm vibing with this. It is a little bare. We need artwork. We need artwork. No pink. So I still want to bring in that deep green. So maybe we can find like a deep green in art somewhere. Um, I do like it though. I'm vibing with this. We can always come back and add stuff. Like more cat trees, probably. A living room. I think we have a decent... I think it, it looks okay. We, we are going to come back. I have the bare bones done. So I always say I'm going to come back and add stuff, and then I never do. Speak Now is going to be easy. It's a dining room. It's a lot of purples in this one, which is good. I love I love the purples. We do have a purple hardwood. What do we got for purple floors? Perhaps the mosaic. This is technically... The game classifies this as purple. See, I have the purple highlighted, and this did come up, so... Technically, if the game says this is purple, that's what we're going with. Speak Now vinyls are just different shade of, shades of purple. Uh, there was, like, the pink, and then the other purple, and, and then the other purple. So, walls... Oh, honestly? I was gonna say a fun wall, and then do this, but, like... Is that better, though? Do I like that better? Do I want to use the same... We could do a ghost. A ghost dining room. That's... Sparkles in the dining room? I don't think it's a sparkle dining room. I like this one. We're going with this one. So for purple tables, we actually have one. Oh. I thought this would be a little bit trickier. Um, but... We do have some purple table options. You know what's great about this um, is that it's going to have some matching dining chairs. But bam. We have quite a few purple dining chairs, actually. We're also going to need cat stuff. 
I guess they don't have to be purple. They're going to be, but they don't have to be. Let's get the cat bowls over here. My expert said she has three cats. My expert was not Google. It's not exactly purple, but look, it's the different color vinyls. Um, let's find a rug and some curtains. I don't like that. Um, I like that better. Purple curtains. Purple curtains. I didn't even know those came in purple. Solid maybes. Solid maybes. What else would you have in a dining room? The game says... Um, yeah, we do need some wall decorations, actually. This is nice. We could size it up and put it on the whole wall. We haven't even touched plants yet. Alright, okay. Cute little centerpiece. We have a picture. This is no longer... I guess we can do it like that. And then here, I'm thinking... Um, we could do a bar. It's a problem with big houses. They just, they just always look so bare. Fearless is gonna be, um, another easier one. Fearless is our kitchen. And it's sepia-toned. <laughs> Yellows and browns. No more purple. Yellow. Because this game has quite a lot of cute yellow counters. For some reason... Me two seconds ago. Whatever the game classifies as yellow, as purple, counts as purple. Oh, we gotta do the floors. We unfortunately have access to brown. Um, so we're gonna take this hardwood and do this hardwood in a brown. The issue with I have with yellow is that it exists. Sorry, I'm not the biggest fan of yellow. Oh, that was horrible. Who who would choose this? We could just like be boring and have a beige kitchen wall and flooring and then have the um have all of the Everything else will be yellow, I'm thinking. Whatever the game classifies as yellow, and then it didn't classify these counters, and these are the ones I want to use. So. <laughs> I'm going to use them. We have a yellow trash can, right? Okay, well, it's yellow. Also, I hate this. Why do you have to... Huh. Here is where you stop having it. Oh my god, that's... Alright, decent size kitchen. I know we have... Wow, look at that. My favorite fridge is yellow. And I do actually want to use, like, this. The sink... I mean, it doesn't technically have to... Well, it does. It does. Those are the rules. Do I keep changing the rules? Yes. And then I wanted to use this section over here as a breakfast nook. Honestly, probably the paranormal one because it... Hey, the, these chairs I think are cuter. So I'm going to use that one. Maybe like a cake. Does she bake? Does I don't know anything about... Maybe a fruit bowl? Would she have a fruit bowl? Well, I'm going to give her a fruit bowl. I'm going to give you my opinions on curtains. I really like the ones from the Desert Lux kit. And they're probably now my most used curtain. Before then, when I bothered to put curtains, I liked to use these ones. I usually don't bother to put curtains because it's, it's a game. It doesn't really matter. And I do like these ones because they look like big blackout panels. So those are my top three favorite curtains. These ones from Dine Out... These ones from uh, Island Living. Oh my god. Um, these ones as well. from. But the issue is if I have curtains on three windows, I should have curtains on all of the windows. So no curtains in the kitchen. I would like some art over here though. Oh my god. Look, it fits perfectly. Next are the bathrooms. 1989 and also I can do this hallway and this exterior 
uh, balcony as well. This is going to be another one where we're pulling inspiration from the vinyls as well. So we have, if I click on it, it's going to be in the way. A very light blue and uh, this nice mint. And then this is the Target Tangerine Edition. So we have orange, blue, and then a mint green. This is a lot of colors. Aquamarine is technically this one. We have a lot of colors. I don't know if yellow is real. I feel like the yellow might be the tangerine. So blue, green, and orange. Uh, we did just do yellow, so I'm thinking maybe green. Could be, could maybe, well, because well, this, it's attached. Follow my logic here. If you choose, want, desire. So I want to do blue or green because we just have like this warm tone kitchen. But we also have these two cool tones. So maybe we should do a warm tone. It's like a, yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's try orange. It is just a half bath. So honestly, like this is totally fine. Maybe I'll even center. Oh, we could put like towels or something in here. I don't know. I might have lost it at this point. We have lots of orange decals and art. I like bathroom art would be nice. Well, what if we put the art in there and got rid of this? All right, that's, I hate it. Honestly, I hate it. But that's one bathroom and we have many, many more to do. So, the um, the master bathroom. This does kind of look aquamarine-y. I'm gonna try and lean it more. One is gonna be more blue. Um, our aquamarine and one is going to be more blue. Yeah, all right, we'll do this one. Bathtub. I want to... I want a bathtub for in here. <laughs> but then that pops up. What if... I There's a matching tub. There's a matching tub. <laughs> I was going to say, what if we just recklessly abandon the vinyl colors and just dive headfirst into full 80s neon but we don't have to recklessly abandon that yet i don't think the walls are working so i'm let's finish oh and it has a matching sink now we'll use this sink i've been using this one quite a bit does the sink um well then we can actually have a whole bathroom that matches a uh, mint green bathrobe. Absolutely. I'll put it on the back of her door. You can always tell when I'm vibing with a build when I go, uh, when I'm doing this and I'm like severely decorating shit. Oh, I don't remember if I told my friends which room's which. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna screenshot the rooms and I'm gonna show them to my friends who are Swifties and see if they can guess the album. Welcome back. Um, I just went on vacation and I'm back. So I mulled some things over and I have done the lighting in all of the rooms. So we got like purple lighting. Um, I thought that would be fun, you know, uh, to do yellow ish. I think it might be orange and then this is orange and then this is blue. And I also changed the couches in the living room because the green, it wasn't really working. And I changed the floors to uh, darker just to make the room overall darker. We're still on 1989, and this was going to be the blue bathroom. Yeah, the vinyl was kind of like a light blue. Uh, so this would work. I think I'm... Honestly, I think I'm just going to go with that one. I really choose when I want to be nitpicky with this. That doesn't quite go there, I guess. Um, I keep using the spa day mirrors, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing that. I, I think it's cute. A couple of little bathroom accents. Uh, we do again need. I guess we don't need a rug. I would like a rug. Um, it looks okay. I don't think I like it. Maybe no rug in this bathroom. I'm not really finding a rug I vibe with. Well, I guess this one's this one's cute. I like this one. I like the circles. All right. The screen, it's been a few days for me. So the screen cap game, in case you were wondering. Uh, yes, one of my friends got these rooms right. These three. 
Uh, they did say this one was debut, and then I clarified the parameters, and then they were like, oh, well, that's obviously 1989. So, um, what does that mean? It means absolutely nothing. It means my friends know they know they're Taylor Swift. What? Bedroom. Bedroom number one. Lovers. This is easy. <laughs> Pastels. A lot of pink. Past, uh, yeah, so a lot of pink but overall pastels yellow blue and pink i don't usually put carpet in my build but i am thinking what if we did a carpet the walls honestly maybe like a pastel yellow yellow is a happy color right i wish i had high school years or pastel pop kit even because these would have a lot of not very pastel-y, but it's cute. Um, Snowy Escape has a good bed. The Dream Home Decorator bed is good. Um, I like this one, but I don't think I like it for the vibe. This one's not bad from base game. The discretion double body, double bed system. I'm thinking this base game one, because then we just have white to match and I don't have to deal with wood tones. I was thinking, what if I did some half walls? Oh, it doesn't even have to go. To make, like, a closet. But if I'm just going to divide the room like that, I could just use a screen. Now that I've done that, I don't even think I want to... <laughs> I don't even think I want to put a walk-in robe right there. I just put some stuff here to see how I like this. And if you play with walls down, if you were to play in this house, this would still be up because it's a half wall. And I don't think I like this. So I'm pretty sure I just did all of that for, for nothing. I, th I think I'll just put a dresser there. And um, I like this one because it comes in the nice sky blue. All right, you're cute. You're cute. It's very pink. It's cute, but I think it's too pink. This mirror. Scooch that in there. So you have like a little spot to get dressed. What do we know about Taylor Swift? She likes cats. She makes music. That's all I know. Swords? Would she have swords in her room? I think that's all right. Does it really encapsulate lovers, maybe? I wish there was more. It, it really does encapsulate cat lovers. Would a third cat tree make this better or worse, you think? You really should have a lot of scratching posts for your cats. Otherwise, they will just scratch your furniture. Um, Blondie has... A cat tree in her room, right in front of the window, so she can look out. She has the cat tree. Um, she has a scratchy pump thingy. And in the other room, um, there's just this big carpeted pillar. It's like waist tall. I hear like, yeah, about waist tall on me. I don't know, don't know where it came from. I think it was used for soundproofing, maybe. The guy who we bought the house from left it here. So, I don't know. But she likes to scratch on that. And she's been scratching on our broken dining chair down here that I keep telling her not to scratch on. But she keeps doing it because she's a cat. She does whatever she wants. Oh, and curtains. Well, we really only have, honestly, for a master bedroom, there's just the one window. Maybe I should put some more windows in here. We can do the warm. No, I like the neutral. That way you can still see the pinks. And there's no, like, pink. There's red. And that's not really that's not really the vibe for this room, since we literally have an album called Red. Which brings us to our next bedroom. I have shown you all the other covers, so I will show you the cover for Red, even though I'm literally just going to make this entire room red. There you go. It's in her lipstick. It's in her hat. But that's the color we're gonna do. Chonky baby. So while we were away, um, she did not have to adhere to her diet. 
and she milked that for all it is fucking worth. I put her food, we had like uh, one of those tub spits out food feeders. It doesn't spit out a certain amount at a certain time. It's just she can bap it and get all the food she wants, which is hilariously how she got fat in the first place. Now I know to only feed her a certain amount. So we're going back to only feeding you a certain amount. Oh, chonky baby. Um, so while we were on vacation, I just filled the feeder and I told um, our dog sitter, like, if she needs more food, here it is. And this bitch scammed that dog sitter for all of the cat kibble. You did. Away with you, beast. Red. So, Red is going to be... Oh, also, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Hell yeah. Litter box. I could put the litter boxes out here. I other Yeah, I guess otherwise I don't really... I'll put one out there, and then I'll put one in here. Because you should always have more than one litter box. Even if you just have one cat, you should have more than one litter box. Um, another cat tree. How many cat trees does Taylor Swift have? Um, beds. This is going to be a bedroom, but it also has cat stuff in it. I feel like when you're older, or you have your own place with a guest room, you it's your old bed. <laughs> my, our guest bedroom is my old bed from my first apartment. Oh, we have to do curtains in there. In both of these rooms. Whoopsies. I think I, I do like the sheer curtains. Oh, what? No, stop. That's a cute. Maybe not a cat tree in this room. <laughs> that red is also orangish. I like these. They're a good shade of red. But the they're from Movie Hangout. I guess does it doesn't really matter. We just, we're letting go. We're learning to let go. Oh, that's cute with the little music notes. Oh, what? I like that. That's cute. I don't know where I would put it, but it's cute. We do have quite a lot of red options. I could do red carpet or red hardwood. It would be weird. I think we have committed to doing the bedrooms and carpet. I think that is an unfortunate commitment I have made. Um, I want to do this hallway. It was blue, aquamarine, or tangerine. If we did it tangerine. Yeah, because honestly the half bath is just kind of, oh, it is, it's orange, you know, but maybe if we do this as the tangerine, that might be better somehow. What would you have in a hallway? I haven't even put any computers in this house. So maybe... Maybe this bedroom is also going to be an office, actually. Well, hallways... Normally in The Sims, when I have landings or hallways, it just becomes like the multi-purpose stuff room. Outside, we could put a telescope. This one, no. Yeah, well, mm, mm, yeah. Actually, I've never used this before, so let's use that one. Clutter? What do we got for orange clutter? Tissues? More tissues are always good. Holiday cards, kid stuff. Treat jars. Oh, those are cookie jars. Uh, what about a ceramic cat? How is there no slot, like, right in the middle? I just enjoy chandeliers and staircases, okay? Like, I have all of this room. I might as well use it. This light doesn't slot on anything, I swear to God. You slot on the coffee table? Oh, you slot on the coffee table? You don't slot on counters? You don't- you do slot there? Sorry, I tried to use it downstairs here, but it didn't slot to that table. 
I'm done. Oh, wait, here's 10 more other things I need to put in this hallway. I don't need to, I guess I don't need to put in a rug. If I don't find a rug I like, I guess we won't stress about it. I mean, there's a lot of rugs I like, but there's not really any I like for the hallway. What else should we put on the patio? What do you have on patios? Isn't there like a big ass umbrella? Do you even have this on your roof? You can have whatever you want on your roof. It's your roof, I guess. One more bedroom and then we have to redo the studio to make it vibe more. Bedroom slash study is Evermore. So let's pull up the album art for that and pick our colors. Oh, it's the flannel. It's my flannel one. I thought it was folklore. Oh my God, I'm a fucking liar. Orange and black. I have been using carpet, so I'm gonna continue the carpet theme, I guess. It is a study. I have a lot of desk options because I can also pull out black and white. So I think I'm gonna... This one's kind of nice. It's kind of old looking. I feel like... And this is just a wild guess. She would have a lot of um, antique furniture. I just, I get that vibe. I don't know why. Not all of it would be antique, but like some of it, you know? Oh, it's detective career. I was gonna say, I've never seen this before. It's because it's the detective career and I've never played the detective career before. Computers. Fortunately, we have black, um, in here so we can just get an iMac chairs probably on a carpet you probably wouldn't have a wheelie chair so let's just get one of these bad boys lamps lots of lamps lots of lamps lots of lamps uh we've been using the same lamp i would like to continue to use the same lamp not in that shade though a games table maybe otherwise the room is just kind of boring if that's all that's in there uh, more cat trees. How many cat trees are in this house? One, two... I didn't put one in there. Three cat trees. Okay, that's a cat tree for every cat. I think for Evermore, I, I, I am going to call this good. I like it. I'm happy with it. Oh yeah, it's just it's just an office. There's a computer, there's a cat tree, there's bookshelves. It's just an office, there's some plants, you know. We can just sneak in some plants in every so often. That brings us to um, the studio, which honestly, most of this stuff I'm probably going to keep. Oh, and I, folklore, obviously, is black and white with trees. That one's pretty easy. So a recording studio or recording booth is going to have speakers, it's going to have people, not people, um, equipment, and then on the other side is where you would record. So they could, they would have hardwood floors. I'm, I just want to see what the floors, this is the booth, I guess, on the inside. And then this is, this, the whole thing is a studio. I went, I went to college for this. <laughs> um... I just wanted to see what the floors would look like. So I think inside the booth, we're going to do carpeted floors. And then the outside can just be hardwood. That's fine. I do want to use this just because I'm going to use it in both rooms. It's like, what else am I going to use this? I do it as a feature wall in kids' rooms sometimes. But it's literally the album cover. Like, come on. Cat sound mixers. Um, I really think that's it. We don't need cameras. Oh, I guess we could take a storage card. Now, I do need a wall decor that could look like sound paneling. Uh, failing that, I guess I could use bunting across the whole... You know what would really work? Would be the dine-out curtains. Or even the, um... Even these. Because they're... 
that's also kind of part of why there's curtains is they're they're big you know they cover the stage but they also muffle sound like you can't if you're talking in a normal tone of voice behind a curtain people it's it's gonna muffle some of the sound so people still might be able to hear you because it's not true soundproofing but it'll be harder for them to hear you um i don't know if i like the gold trim at the bottom Mm, I don't think I like those. Where's Dine Out? I've probably scrolled by a million times. Yeah, here we go. I think I'm gonna use the Dine Out ones. So we have our booth. That's pretty much it. I do want to put in a different microphone. That's not it at all. Activities and skills. Alright. I do like this microphone better, so we're gonna use this one. Uh, go here, please. Oh, nobody can get there. Uh, just kidding. Weird Al, you can teleport. <laughs> so you can get in the house. Oh, you teleported in there. Um, I need you to go here. Okay. And then just go here for funsies. Great. Also need speakers. So we could have amps in here. She, that is a possibility. You might have amps in there. Um... You would mic up the amps. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna landscape really quick. I don't think I'm gonna do anything in the backyard. Um, I'm gonna landscape and I will be right back. Who is this muscular? I said I would be right back. Uh, I'm going through debug, and these buildings are just labeled with a muscular man. I don't know what that's about. Um. I'm still landscaping, sorry. As you were. I'll be back. Think I'm done landscaping. I'm not going to do a landscaping speed build because, honestly, the shell speed build took a little bit longer than I thought it would. And we are... <laughs> we're pushing it for time here. This video is long. Uh, this is all I did for landscaping. Just, like, hedges all around the entire house. A couple of bushes. I love dogwood. I think it's so pretty. So I put in a couple of dogwood trees. Uh, we got a couple of the cats and dog maples. Uh, I found these in cat and dog debug. These three trees. Um, I just look like a nice little bench back there. Some terrain paint. I have these trees in the front because it's kind of like a privacy thing. You know, she's very conscious about her privacy, obviously. Being a world famous superstar, you kind of have to be very conscious about your privacy. Oh, and I did not forget the mailbox. It's a cat mailbox. I've turned her into a crazy cat lady, although I feel like that might not be far from the truth. And, of course, the trash can. I usually don't do a screen cap slide show. But, I don't know. I think I'm honestly feeling it a little. But that was... Uh, that was the build. Happy Taylor Swift album release day to you one and all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I gotta, I gotta say, finding angles for screenshots is so hard. Because your camera really just likes to pop all over the place. Oh, before I forget, and of course you can find this house on the gallery. My gallery ID is the Grimia. I will have it typed down there for you below. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.